Hello everybody, it's great on 95 and last time on Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney we were told we're kind of like the first person who sucked on a cow's nipple. Still, I never thought you'd go digging up <laughs> that case from two years ago. Everyone in this trial was involved in the SL9 incident. Not only that, but the murder occurred on the very day the evidence from the case was due for transferal. This can't be attributed to more to mere coincidence. Aren't you forgetting something? You know that little scene I happened to witness? The instant Lana stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. No matter how much of the past you dig up, it won't change what I saw. Roast beef is meant to be savored when eaten. Miss Starr's hatred toward Lana. It all dates back to two years ago. What's wrong with you, girl? Joe Dark. That's a name I'll not soon forget. Whew! We trailed him for half a year. Oh, the pressure. Uh, still, I don't think I was ever more alive than I was then. Those days were steamier than a bowl of hot gravy. Poor old Jake Marshall, though. Must have been going through hell. You mean because of his brother's death? They were close, those two. After Neil died, something took over Jake. He became obsessed. Seeing Jake like that made her all the more desperate. Her? Lana Skye. My sister. The best of the best were put on the SL9 case. Of course, they were led by the legendary duo. Every time. Lana and Chief Gant. That legendary pair was the reason we were able to keep up our investigation. That's why we're so shocked over how it turned out. You mean with the forging of evidence? Don't get me wrong, Joe Dark got what he deserved. Still, it was obvious the evidence produced in court was being manipulated. Items our team never found would suddenly appear, while other items kept secret were kept secret. But you didn't have proof anything illegal was done. I'm proof enough of what happened. After that case, all of us save Goodman were relieved of our duties. Most without even so much as an explanation. Then Lana Sky transferred to the prosecutor's office and became chief prosecutor. Lana always wanted to be a prosecutor. Nothing's quite as simple as it appears. Huh? Lana Sky was merely being used as a pawn. That's my take on the matter. She was being used? Damon Gant and Lana Sky, the legendary duo. Two years ago, Gant was chief detective and Lana second in command. They were the best. They solved all kinds of cases together, didn't they? Damon Gant's magnetism in partic particular was almost unreal. His magnetism? By, the, by that I mean his ability to attract evidence. He'd produce the most incredible evidence in the cases he handled. Incredible evidence? You mean... Oh yes, there were rumors about him even back then. No one dared confront him though. I take it she's talking about forged evidence. Back then, everyone looked up to Lana. All the detectives wanted to be like her. Really? Oh yes, myself included. I was a fool, really. She hated anything crooked, and always watched out for the other detectives. That's why she was so concerned for Jake. Mr. Marshall. When Jake's brother was murdered, she felt as if she had lost her own brother. If it wasn't for her, I don't think Jake would ever have recovered from his shock. That's why it makes it all more infuriating. All the more infuriating. Miss Starr. That's why I'll never be able to forgive her. Why did she have to turn so cold after that? Being used. Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office two years ago, didn't she? Yes, thanks to Chief Gant's powerful influence. Chief. That's right. Having solved the SL9 case, his position as chief was secured. 
there was only one thing left for him to control, and then no one could stand in uh, his way. The prosecutor's office. What? You mean, that's why Lana was transferred? If he could control the chief prosecutor, he can control the prosecutor's office. That must have been his goal all along. But, but how, did he, how could he control Lana? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Ever since that case ended, she's never been the same. It's only logical to, to conclude. There must have been a reason for her change. At last, I'm finally getting close to the bottom of this ugly mess. Thank you, Miss Star. You listen to me, rookie. It takes more than just ingredients to create the fine cuisine. Uh, I hope you turn out to be a better chef than I've been. So, what have we learned? What do we got? Chief Gang. That's what. Back to... Uh, there. Fubble Alley. Oh, you're back. You still here? I gotta make 150 copies of these files. Brewing coffee, copying files. I'm turning into a regular DJ. You're a DJ as well? If I'm not mistaken, I think he means desk jockey. Oh, that DJ. I gotta admire your persistence, but my answer is still no. I'm not letting you into Chief's, the chief's office, period. It'd be my neck on the line. That office is the last crime scene in the SL9 incident. I have to take a look in there. There's got to be something we can do to change the detective's shit. Taint, taint, blah. So, uh, hey, what's up? We're gonna, we're gonna give you this. Hey, that's it. That's the King of Prosecutors Awards Mr. Edgeworth got the other day. Were you at the award ceremony, D Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Ah, congratulations. Say, this design's based on the old Chinese parable, right? Uh, yeah, everyone knows that. There was this, uh, dragon. Yeah, that's it, a dragon. He had a thing for shields, see? That's not exactly the version we heard. No, but this one sounds more exciting. Anyway, it gets kind of gory after that. I'll spare you the details. Lol. Um. There it is. This is what we have to show him. What's this crumpled up piece of paper? N no way! Mr. Edgeworth can't be serious. Is he ever not serious? I can't believe they've pushed him this far. Mr. Edgeworth really feels responsible. At first, I thought he was as cold as ice. But now I know different. He trusted us detectives to provide him with, a sound, with sound evidence. But we just... We betrayed him. Detective. That's it. I've made up my mind. But... Here, take my ID card. We can't do that. If someone found out, they wouldn't let you off the hook without another with another lost item report. Look at me. It's no secret I'm already out of the loop. After all, I'm friends with Mr. Edgeworth. Depending on how this case turns out, I may already be as good as terminated. What? So at least let me do this for Mr. Edgeworth's sake. All right, detective. Thank you. Don't use ID. Tuck swiftly into your pocket. Let's do this! Let's go and get the stuff from Chief's office! February 24th, Police Department, Chief's office. Here goes, Mr. Wright. Whew, scary. Excuse me. Open Sesame. If anyone finds us now, Detective Gumshoe's a goner. If that happens, I'm counting on you to bail me out. Yay! Ah! <laughs> uh, Gumshoe. Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I didn't even know you could slap a ghost. Ah! Detective Gumshoe! What are you doing sneaking up on us like that? I, I, I wasn't sneaking. I was just worried something might go wrong. So I came too. If you're here... Then what's the point in giving us your ID card? Crumpled up Gumshoe's ID card. 
in the pocket. Really? Hey, don't do that to my card. That sucks. Sorry, bro. I hardly ever get a chance to come in here. So I figured I'd have a look around myself. Besides, we're all in this together now. You really do want to get fired, don't you? Not if we're lucky. Now, come on. Let's see what we can find out. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, God. Bleh. We're, we're in the Chief's office. Wow, look at the size of Chief Gant's desk. Speaking of that, when we get, we're here earlier. Oh, it's you two. Chief Gant. He put the paper he was reading in his desk. I wonder what he was reading. This looks like a list of evidence used in a case. A list of evidence. In most cases, the list runs twice as long as this. Hey, look at the case name. Huh? SL9 incident? I wonder what this is doing here. Hold on, detective. What did you just say? I said, I wonder what... No, about the evidence lists. Normally, they're twice as long. That's right. I guess there wasn't a lot of evidence. A half-sized list of evidence. That list of evidence, it seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. What would the other half of the list be doing here? I knew it. The chief must be hiding something about that case. It would appear so. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. What's this? These shelves are mostly empty. Lana must have cleaned them out when she transferred over to the prosecutor's office. There's a small picture frame on the left shelf. Hey! This is where Lana and I went to that theme park. Aww. Wait. What's that? What's this? These shelves are mostly blah blah blah. Okay, never mind. So there's nothing over here but that picture, I think. So, uh, look! It, look at this! Look, look over here! What's this? This is a safe, isn't it? Safe? That word is ripe with intrigue. Uh, okay, if you say so. It looks like a code needs to be entered in this panel to open it. We're such thieves. A seven digit number. I think I just might know what it is. Input number. Do you know what it is? I have a hunch. Oh, I know. You want to try my birth date? It's. I have a better idea. Here goes nothing. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah. Bingo. What number did you enter? Whose birthday was it, pal? Seven 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 seven. The final ID card on that record. Seven 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 seven. I think I've been saying it right. What? The number of the mysterious executive officer who entered the room that day. You mean... 777777777? That ID number? I think you're one seven shy this time. This can only mean one thing. The Chief Gant's... I that's Chief Gant's ID number. Say, anyone care to look inside? Uh, okay, let's do this. And we will leave it off to the next time! Ah! Suspense! All right, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, uh, and you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it, and also, you get all the latest content when I upload it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and next time, we'll keep being thieving attorney people. Let's do it. See you later.